Hello everyone, welcome to the Weave Electronics, the STM32F1 tutorial. We are in the UART part and today we will create the library for the receive and send, the receive and transmit um, um, libraries. So let's start with the program we finished in the previous um, video. So we do have the init function for the UART and we are going to create a send and receive function. So this one is receive and this one is send. We start with a receive function. Straightforward, quite. And so when we receive, we have a char. So that is what we are receiving. And let's call it UART RX. And of course, we usually get, we need the, we will need to specify the, um, which port are we using. So unsigned shorts and I will put you what and also I will add uh, that's yeah so this one so we are receiving then uh, yeah you just you what okay good so we just specify which port we are getting from so good let's start and it's keeping you what yeah Good, so we, yeah, inside, unsigned short. Perfect. Good, so um, straightforward. So let's declare a char called C and then put the if condition. So if the UART equal one, so and then we do have some stuff happening. Sorry. Yep, some stuff happening here. And then we put the else and we just copy here so it'll be quite let's take the receive this one yep and we take here so then we just copy paste in the easiest possible way and save time so we don't use a chat equal but c equal here okay i know i know give me a moment and here else and again so if it's equal to one it will be you what one you what one if it's equal to two two and two and if it's equal to three and then we should have you are three and you are three so now we can delete this one copy this on the top just to check our function how is working so let me put it like this okay great so we just put the UART RX here and let's take okay so we will put UART 2 as we initiated and we have the um, we connected only the UART 2 for the moment and we should have this one sending so save okay two warning let's check what's happening Okay, the chassis, of course, of course, here we have to put return, return C. Okay, let's save again. Check, okay, zero error, zero warning. Let's upload in the system, in the our microcontroller. Let's check. This is our microcontroller connected in UR2. This is our FTDI. So let's open the H10. Okay, it's sending like crazy. Let's disconnect and check what's happening. So here, what I have is, I do have here the, tra the transmit just sending. It's like the UR is not finding its way. And let's check again. So we specified UR2, we should be here and waiting, but we don't do have that. Let's confirm what's happening. So let's connect again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something is strange. Okay, so what we can do, so let's use it as a good exercise. We are not debugging here, but what we will... So now I'm debugging in the uh, simulator mode. Let's go to the debug mode and go to the uh, the real microcontroller debugging and start our debug. Okay. Okay, let's run. 
okay so it's a little bit slower but we can check what's happening so if i do here so good so i'm getting inside let's check where i'm ending up here so let's go for the next step okay so i'm i'm going directly here so something is very strange so i'm not entering inside my function next yeah i'm inside now good okay let's check what will be the next step okay okay of course that's the error so we had a chance now to 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 see how we can debug the microcontroller on real time so i just release my microcontroller save build and so i just let me clear and send hello world okay i'm receiving six times the same letter which is quite interesting so it seems that i'm not getting the right information here so let's say hello let's see okay i'm getting the same letter again and again and i know why because i put it a char here so i should have chat equal this so it should be working now okay let's clean let's clean here too and hello world fantastic so we do now have the code is working and we had a chance to see how we can debug um, if we do have some troubles so now that we already finished the rx uh, function let's start the tx it's really i think it's much easier than the rx so what we have we we need to, to i'm copying just copying the same function because to get it and so i'm moving so because this is we we need something to um this is a tx we need to specify the port and also we need to also specify the char and i'm calling it c so that's how and I don't need any more this C because I'm returning nothing and I'm removing this one and the code I'm, I have to add is this one so this is a transmit and so I'm cutting here and so that's what I need to put inside here and that's all so just putting this one like this and we change the code Again, okay so here will be one and one and here it will be three and three and we are not sending the chat one but we are sending the C now don't do the mistake twice <laughs> great so now we put it everything so let's declare the function Okay, you are takes something is missing. Okay, you are. Okay, what does it say? Type specified missing. Default to int. Okay, because it's a void, and it's a void here. Yeah, making too much code. Okay, so now we have everything. So what we need to do is delete everything and put uh, uart tx and so I would like to port 2 and send the chat. Okay, so far so good. Let's save and build. Yeah, we do have a zero error, zero warning. Looks fantastic. Okay, so let's say hello world one, just to have fun. So we do have hello world one, and let's add a new line. So put a new line as soon as we get. So it's a moment, a new line at this one. Okay, I'm sending nothing and i put here so this is the end of line characters they are special um chart 
character that uh, should be inputted and we will be talking about this one in the next video so more specific why we are using this but just to, s to see now what's happening if I put hello will okay nothing happened because I'm not sending yeah okay so if I put hello again yeah so now we have a jumping to the next line good so now we created our function let's copy everything in the library so we have a clean and nice code control x so let's go to c control v and let's put this function here control x and take them to the h function and save so let's see now okay save and good one warning let's check i know where is it uh, not this one but probably this one it says there's no end of line yeah fantastic so now we do have our code ready and quite perfect to to be uh shipped for the UART. so we do have now a fully functional um two tx and the rx uh UART functions uh, that, that's quite good that's quite good so um before i go to the next discussion uh just let me share with you i'm opening again the reference manual and um i would like to guess a little bit about the uart i think i opened it yesterday yeah the uart discussion we have done okay so you know the stm32 f1 it has a maximum clock speed of um, 72 megahertz and we have seen that the UART one is the only one can, that can go to, to that speed but um, so this is giving us a quite a very very fast uh, board rate so within this table in the the page we used uh, yesterday we can see that we can go to 4 megahertz of speed which is really great so from board rate and even the arduino is not even like looking 200 is already too much for the arduino and as you can see the h term is the maximum number so with this one you really have a very fast communication and imagine you can even go further to the um the um the board rate of 4 million so you see the full potential um of the having uart with a such a small and tiny so i still have the video here such small and tiny piece of um of magic for me great so um that was a small um small information i wanted to add but now I, I would like to get back to our program so if you um followed from the beginning our program stops here and waits until it receives a char and then send the char here um that's good but uh, from efficiency perspective that's worst thing that can happen um actually waiting or keeping the, the whole main thread waiting is one of the worst uh, things that can happen to the microcontroller. It's just, uh, just waiting, doing nothing important. So, and this is opening for us the next video discussion, which will be, we will be using um, at the first place the interrupt for the UART, but also I'll be introducing some strategy to use an interrupt because it's good to have an interrupt, but there is um, a certain way of using it to not destroy the purpose of making an interrupt anyway guys if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and subscribe thank you bye